the children are better off having father and mother present in their lives than being from a single parent home. Okay. I'd rather that child deals with the trauma of mommy and daddy are always quarreling. Do that child deals with that trauma and say at the end of the day, ah, in spite of all mommy so or experienced, mommy stuck it out because of me. Mommy sacrificed because of me. Mommy stayed because of me. Because mommy knew that if she leaves the equation, probably I wouldn't have the life I deserve as a child of that family. Because mommy knows that if she leaves the equation, most probably she will not have custody of me and she will be forced to leave me here Okay, so what you're saying is that no matter, okay, what you're saying is that being in a two parent household where the environment is hostile between the parents, that no matter that the parents are having a toxic relationship, those children deserve to have their two parents bring them up so that they're not faced with a single parent family because you said it will be a problem for the kids. So that a father can live in the same house and still be absent. Good. And statistics have shown that most children who get incarcerated, especially men, stem from single mother homes. And statistics have shown that sometimes both parents are there. Sometimes because that man isn't playing his role, the children are seeing it. They have no leader to follow. They are seeing a mismatch in that family. The woman is the one running that family. That is a mental problem for children. You know, we keep saying children, children. Well, what, what about the woman? She's a human being.